touch, don't touch. It's fake. Don't touch, don't touch. It's bad. Don't touch, don't touch. It hurts. Don't touch, don't touch. It destroys. Don't touch, don't touch. It kills. Don't touch, don't touch. It's fake. Don't touch, don't touch. It's bad. Don't touch, don't touch. It hurts. Don't touch, don't touch. It destroys. Don't touch, don't touch. It kills. You should know. For quite some time now, Nigerians have watched some buildings collapsed and every time this unfortunate incident occur, many are always quick to blame it on substandard materials. Sadly, those who pay the ultimate price are innocent occupants of these buildings. It is an avoidable debt and loss that can only be guaranteed by the use of quality materials. The Sankrit block is one of such building material. We will tell you all you need to know about this all-important material on the program. It is a brand new edition of Standard & You, brought to you on the station by the Standard Organization of Nigeria, the SON. Please do not go anywhere. I'll be back shortly. Don't touch, don't touch. It's fake. Don't touch, don't touch. It's bad. Don't touch, don't touch. It hurts. Don't touch, don't touch. These are substandard products. They are dangerous to human lives and have negative effects on the nation's economy. We work round the clock in search of these products and wherever we find them, we destroy them. We are committed to the war against substandard and fake products. We are the Standards Organization of Nigeria. Join us on Standard and You your guide to product quality and safety. Welcome back and thanks for being a part of the program. Block molders in the country have been challenged to take the issue of quality very seriously in the production of Sankrit blocks. This was the trust of the message of the Director General of the Standards Organization of Nigeria, Malam Farouk Salim, to a sensitization of block molders in Egba Abiokuta, Ogun State, Nigeria. Standard and you was there. These are rubbles of a collapsed building. It's the result of someone's deliberate decision to compromise on quality, born out of greed or ignorance. Every time this happens, it throws the nation into mourning and those affected into misery and hopelessness. This sensitization on quality was put together by the Standards Organization of Nigeria to expose participants who are mainly block molders to standard procedures to molding standard sandcrit blocks. The DG's message was presented by the regional coordinator Southwest, Yeside Akinlabi, who stressed the need for operators to comply with the requirements of the standards for molding block. In Nigeria, the fulcrum of standardization and regulation of the quality of products and services is vested in the Standards Organization of Nigeria, accomplished by elaborating, maintaining, and enforcing the implementation of the standards, thereby improving the quality of locally manufactured products, as well as enhancing global competitiveness. A lot has been done in the area of product quality regulation and enforcement of compliance. However, more can still be done. Buildings and the provision of safe and um, affordable homes are major contributions and important aspects of the socioeconomic development of the nation. However, in the built industry, a major challenge in our economy is the incident building collapse, which poses a threat to our construction industry and the development of Nigeria at large. Blocks as a component of the building need to be put under check to ensure it meets the quality requirements so as to reduce the continuous incidence of collapsed buildings, especially in the major cities of Nigeria. For this block to be produced, we have to use the required raw materials, required mix ratio, qualified workforce, required tools and equipment. 
The Director General acknowledged that the state has a large number of block molders and that the agency will continue to create awareness on the dangers of substandard blocks. And just like the chairman said, fine, they have a mind of their own to say they are still going to be doing substandard products. But what the chairman is saying is that they will go around because they have to also do self-regulation. The chairman said they will go around. If you are doing um, substandard, they will snap your picture. They will send to us. You won't do something against the government. SON is set up by the federal government to ensure quality of products and services. So if you on your own decide that you want to do substandard products, then which means you want to fight with the federal government. And the law of the land will take its course. Because we expect that customers, consumers should get value for whatever thing they purchase. SON Assured will continue to provide operators with technical support to churn out standard sand creek blocks. Chairman of the National Association of Block Molders of Nigeria, Shagamu Zone, Ogun State, admitted that some members engage in sharp practices. He pledged the association support to the SON in sanitizing the industry and ensure members adhere strictly to requirements of the Nigerian industrial standards for block molding. If we see the blocks in our hands, nobody like it. But now, government want to take action for that now. If anybody know do well, I told anybody there that if I see something wrong, I will do photo or video. I send to SON. This is also the man doing you. He said to say, ah, I hate him, I hate him. No. I tell everybody that just face your job and do it well. The teaching as uh, educators a lot. It allows us to know about the soil profile. Uh, then we must test the bearing capacity of the soil. Then uh, adequate curing, the setting period. And there is a lot I've learned from this teaching about the mix ratio. So that I'm not fully aware of, which I would like to get outreach to some of my people there. About our mixes, we wanted to gain more because of the economy. And the uh, here now, they are giving us some of uh, the guidelines we have to follow so that we can reduce our gaining and give us a standard product. State coordinator of the agency in Anambra State, Engineer Adeoye Onipede, presented a paper on the appropriate requirements and mixture to produce standard sand creek block. NIS 5887 of 2021, which is the review standard we are going to work on. So all together, I told them about what they need, what they expect, what they expect in the standard, about the mix ratios, about the bashing, about the mold, and about the compressive strength, the appearance, the water absorption, and every requirement of the block. How, what are the requirements, and what we expect them to be doing? If eventually the strength does not meet for the um, low bearing, does not meet with 3.5 megapascal, and all low bearing does not meet with 1.5 megapascal, and the water absorption is more than 12 percent, then it automatically to be a substandard. Or maybe on the issue of dimensions and web thickness, it's not really uh, up to standard. Then automatically such block is substandard. Another industry expert, Alade Loba, additional gave a thought-provoking paper on the consequences of producing substandard block. He said the reason those who compromise on standards continue in their wicked and dangerous act is because they are not sanctioned. He therefore advocated measures not just to check the activities of operators, but stiffer punishment for violation of the law. The block makers, they play a pivotal role in preventing building collapse which is becoming an incessant occurrence in recent time. And each time a building collapses, of course, there are colossal waste of human and material resources. And this must stop, because we can't continue to waste our human and material resources for no justice. And the reason is that a lot of people want to profit. They want to make unnecessary profit at the expense of the life of the citizenry. And a lot of people you know, they are ignorant of the consequences of their misbehavior. Because many a times we find that some of the collapses we have seen, even those who are constructing it, those who are there, they even died in the collapse. And that's why I've always said in, in any forum that I go, I let people know, medical doctors bury their mistake. 
but the builders and the engineers are buried by their own mistake. And that's why we don't have a second chance. That's why we must do it rightly, every one of us as Nigerians. The government has a role to play. The government must create the enabling environment to ensure that all these things, they don't just happen. And most of the people that you see that want to profit here is because they invest so much into their businesses and they are not making commensurate returns from it. And so you see people become, they begin to get desperate and they want to cut corners. But no excuse can be good enough for that kind of a thing. So the most important thing is that government must create the enabling environment. They must create, for instance, the National Building Code must be passed into, in fact, must be signed into law. So that whoever commits any offense will have to face the consequences. The forum was a platform for some block models to bear their minds on some of the challenges they face in the industry. The issue of this block is that uh, some of the people are mold their block with hand mold blocks, which is not on our line to take hand to do a block. So that's only the issue we are fighting for here. We want our chairman to do a law for that uh, hand mode blocks. Hand mode blocks. They are running our business. The theme of the sensitization was quality requirements for sandcrete block production and its effects in the industry. Still talking quality of sandcrete block. Our next report provides practical insights into how to produce standard concrete blocks. Please take a listen. Bode Babalola is a middle-aged cameraman working with a private media firm in Lagos. Like every young man or woman his age, he has a dream of building his own house. As a low-income earner, Bode told Standard and You that he is saving towards making his dream a reality. It's not easy paying, paying a, a landlord as he's staying in a, in a rental apartment for so long. And at the same time, you are staying in somebody's house. And I also be paying his house directly or indirectly. It's either you buy one or two things to fix. You don't expect the landlord to come and fix a um, broken house or broken um, block or wall in the house or cracks wall. You have to do it your own self. So it's not easy. It's as if you're also building the man's house or the woman's house. So it's, you have to build your own house. So it's as good as staying in your own apartment. So what, as you are renovating your house, it's your own house. Not renovating someone else's apartment. But you have to do that with choice. I have plans of staying in my own building and I'm working towards it. But I have to look for an engineer that will help me to manage my resources to build my own building. But they can't afford a certified and professional builder so he engages a local developer to build for him. So he's at the mercy of inexperienced and greedy developers who in most cases pay little or no attention to quality during construction. However, our focus is on one of the building materials needed for construction. It's a sand creek block. It's a mixture of sharp sand, water and cement. Concrete block is made from tiny granite, sharp sand and cement, while laterite block is made from mixture of laterite and cement. However, the most commonly used block in the country is sandcrete block, which is our focus in this report. It's used for the construction of walls and partitions. Sandcrete block comes in different sizes. The various materials used in molding sandcrete block, as explained by the head of Civil and Cement Laboratory of the Standards Organization of Nigeria, Engineer Tunde Bamikoli, must be of quality and the right proportion in line with the requirements of the Nigerian Industrial Standard 978-2017. Bungalows cracking, you see differential uh, settlements, I know all professional knows that when there is differential settlement, before you know, within a short period of time, there will be ultimate collapse of the structure. Now, what Sun is trying to say and do is this. Let's test sandcrete blocks properly. Let's be sure as a structural member, let's be sure that oh, the quality is okay. And from there, we can reduce any form of failures that is associated with sandcrete blocks 
to the BRS minimum. Taking this responsibility for granted, they argue, is dangerous, as doing so will expose innocent Nigerians to greater risk of building collapse that may lead to loss of lives. To test these blocks now, we can load this machine with the sand creep blocks. Then why we are using this is to distribute the load uniformly on the blocks. Because when the load are not uniformly distributed, we may not get a very good value for our compressive strain. So I think we can start loading it now. Now the purpose of this test is for us to know the maximum load that this single unit of block can actually support. So the load is coming down. The compressive strength of this block is 1.966 megapascal. Now, the minimum requirement for this block in the Nigeria Industrial Standard, NIS 978-2017, for non-load-bearing blocks is 1.5 Newton per millimeter squared, or 1.5 megapascal. They are still the same thing for, for blocks, generally. Now, these particular sanctuary blocks have actually met the requirement stipulated in the Nigeria Industrial Standard. Investigations by the Standards Organization of Nigeria reveal that not all models comply with the standards, which explains why there are substandard sandcrete blocks in the market, as attested to by a cross-section of Nigerians. Some blamed it on the high cost of cement and sharp sand. All these um, builders, they, they don't follow the right proportion of cement, sand and everything, water that, that meets the standard. So if it meets the standard, of course the building wouldn't collapse. The cement we are using now is not of the same quality as the one we were using in the past. So that one is already uh, compromised. Then talk of the manufacturers. They want to maximize profits. So if, for example, they are supposed to use a bag of cement to produce 100 pieces of blocks, and because of profit, and interest. They now use a bag of cement to produce 120 pieces. Then that becomes substandard. So you can, every time you begin to carry the blocks, they will be breaking in your hand. So that is the problem. The problem is about people wanting to make profits in the face of expensive raw materials. There are some producers that don't meet up to quality. They don't make up to standard what is required for the block to be standard. They want to make more profit than they are required to make, so it will affect the quality of the block they make. Things are of high rates nowadays, and people don't believe in buying things of high rates. They believe the little they have, let's utilize it, since we are going to get to a final point, as in the final result, it's going to give us block, it will give us block, and we build the house, build the house, so in a couple of years, at least the house will be there. It's a disturbing development one which the Standards Organization of Nigeria has continued to evolve strategies to combat. The agency is doing a lot to engage operators to get members to comply with the requirements of the standards. Yes, uh, the relationship has been very unique and it has been very cordial. They have been meeting with us time to time and giving us a sensitization on how we can produce good blocks and they came on you know on visitation so to check if we are going by the rules or we are complying so the relationship has been very cordial effort has been made in the past and we are also not relenting to put a stop to this uh, illegal operators among us so and SON has assured us even the Lagos State Material Testing Laboratory has also assured us so we are looking at you know having a synergy between the two uh, government agencies you know to put a stop in all of this because we on our own cannot control them. So we, it is government who can control them and regulate because they are the regulators. For the Director General of the Standards Organization of Nigeria, Malam Farouk Salim, any sane businessman should not compromise on quality 
especially for a life endangering product like sandcrete block that can lead to building collapse. He lamented over the number of lives that has been lost to greed by some unscrupulous businessmen. We have an elaborate lab in Oba. We have about 45 individual things we can test. And concrete, steel and other structures are part of the things we can test. Like I said, most of these things can be done and can be avoided. Unfortunately, people, uh, either the contractors or other individuals, maybe are not aware that we have this facility to test the products they are using. Or people who contract them don't realize that the law says they need to confirm all these things are up to standard before they pay the contractor. It's a learning process for everybody. Um, Centre organization is working together with the state government to make sure we figure out what happened and how to avoid it in the future. Salim says those who still engage in the production of substandard block should have a change of heart and embrace quality or face the wrath of the law. Time now to join Alimot Osifo in our feedback corner. Over to you, Alimot. Thank you, Ifeinwa. This electrical equipment is regarded as one of the biggest inventions of the 20th century. It's a broadcast medium of education, entertainment, news, culture, sports, and even music using an audiovisual channel. Yes, I'm talking about the television, the TV you are watching. I'll be sharing five standard tips on television after responding to your feedback. My name is Halimot Osifo. Welcome. Hope from Patakot says, I watched your program and I'm so impressed about Made in Nigeria products and what you are doing in Nigeria. Thank you, Hope. Our mission as the Standards Organization of Nigeria is to promote consumer confidence and global competitiveness of made in Nigeria goods through standardization and quality assurance. Francis Oluchuku says, SON needs serious task force to check made fake products in Nigeria. Thanks, Francis. However, SON has special task force on various products charged to ensure conformity to standards. We will intensify efforts in that regard. Shola Utiei from Ibadan says, I would like to work with the Standards Organization of Nigeria. How do I go about it? Thanks for reaching out to us. Currently, we are not recruiting at the SON. Please stay tuned to www.son.gov.ng for updates on recruitment when ongoing. Anonymous message says, SON, you are doing a wonderful job in ensuring quality of goods from within and outside the country. But sometimes I wonder why we still have substandard products in the market. Well, while the SON is deploying several measures to tackle substandard products in Nigeria, some unscrupulous importers take advantage of our porous borders and SON's absence at the nation's point of entry. They smuggle substandard products into the country this way. However, SON is not relenting. We will intensify efforts to ensure that the country is free of fake and substandard products. Robito Shitu from Lagos says, keep up the good work. Thanks. We hope to serve you better. Now to five standard tips on television. Buy new television certified by SON from trusted brands and ensure you read the user manual to give instructions, explain features and ways to tackle minor problems. Mount your flat screen television to the wall for stability and security. If you can't, use brackets and straps to keep it in place on a stand that's secured to the wall. Use a voltage regulator or surge protector to protect your television from thunderstorm or voltage spikes which can damage the TV. Never use water to clean your television screen. Gently use a soft cloth to wipe off any accumulating dust. Do not try to open or service the television by yourself under any circumstances. Instead, consult an expert. There you have it, five standard tips on television. And that concludes this week's episode of your favorite public sensitization program, Standard and You. Thanks for watching. 
please send in your messages to 0705972 with your full name and location. YouTube.com forward slash standard and you is where to watch the program online. As always, buy original, sell authentic and use only the best. Enjoy the rest of the week. Why you de buy ye, the product ye. Make you de careful, no go damage your life. You've got one life to live. Buy original.